said Ms Perry. Nat and Nadia can look after the cap stall. Yeah, went the twins. The school fair's cap stall looked cool. Rows of bright, clean caps covered the table. Caps for sale, read a sign. Get ahead. How much do they cost? Nat asked. Three dollars, the teacher said. But you can sell some cheaper if you have to. Nadia and Nat started checking out the caps. There was one with a pile of boulders and the words "school rocks." One that said, "You pinch my cap, I pinch your bottom." How much are the caps? A little girl stood by the stall. Three dollars, Nadia told her. The little girl looked sad. My mum only gave me two dollars. Nadia remembered what Miss Perry had said. You can have one for two dollars. The girl pointed to a white cap with a green frog, saying, "Don't rip it." Okay, went Nat. But the girl was already pointing at another cap, one of a shark carrying a goldfish bowl with a goldfish inside. It said, "Takeaways." I like that one too. Which one do you like best? Nat asked. I like them both best," went the kid. The twins whispered together. Then Nadia went, "You can have them both for two dollars." Nat put the two caps in a plastic bag and handed them over. "There you are." "Thank you." The girl put the bag down on the ground, but she didn't go. Instead, she asked, "Um, can I buy some more?" "I thought you just had two dollars," Nat said. The kid shook her head. Mum only gave me two, but Dad gave me another two. Can I buy two more caps for that? The twins looked at each other, and swallowed. All right, which ones? The girl picked up a black one with a skeleton scratching his skull and saying, "Bad hair day." She picked up a blue one where someone was starting to smell a flower with an angry bee inside it. She picked up a pink one with a Barbie doll in karate gear, and the words "This chick kicks." I can't decide which. She went. Nat and Nadia whispered again. Did anybody else give you some money? Nadia asked. The little girl shook her head. Right, went Nat. You can have those three for two dollars. That makes five caps you've got. Okay. Thank you. The girl smiled again. Nat stuffed the three caps in a second bag. There you are. The kid put this bag down on the ground too. She still didn't go. Can I buy one more for one dollar? You said nobody else gave you money. Went Nadia. The girl shook her head. They didn't. I saved a dollar by myself. Can I get one more cap? That'll be six caps for just five dollars. Thought Nat. Mrs. Perry will go ballistic. But oh, all right, he said. The girl picked up a cap with a dentist sticking his head inside a crocodile's mouth. She picked up one of a pig driving a hoon car with road hog on its side. She picked up one of someone bungee jumping into water where octopuses held up a sign reading "Welcome." I can't decide which. Nat and Nadia both interrupted her. No way, just one. The little kid grinned. Okay, she held out the octopus cap. That's the last, right? Nadia went. The girl nodded. Nat stuffed the octopus cap into a third bag as fast as he could and passed it over. Six caps for five dollars, he thought again. Then a voice called, "Angie, I told you not to go there." A woman came hurrying up. She shook her head at the little girl. "Oh, she's always buying these terrible caps," she told the twins. Then she and her friends wear them downtown just to make people stare. It's so embarrassing. The woman gave the little girl a hug. She opened the bag the girl was holding, the third bag. She didn't notice the other two bags on the ground. She held up the purple cap with the bungee jumper and the octopuses. Angie, you are dreadful. Then she smiled at Nadia and Nat. Still, at least she only bought one cap this time. <laughs> <laughs>